My name is Justina, and this is my story. I don't want to start on a heavy note, but I don't know any other way to start. When I was about three or four years old, I was sexually experimented on by neighbor kids. In other words, I was sexually abused. I was awakened and introduced to things that I should not have known. As I grew, I realized that what had happened was wrong, so I continued on and hid an addiction. But I began to forget the origins of it all. But no matter how far forgotten the abuse of the past was, I could never evade the nightmares where the abuse lived on in various forms. A rage filled me, and it was so difficult to control the outbursts of anger. Depression dominated my internal world. I was struggling, and by the time I was 13, I wanted to take my life. But God interrupted. On March 16, 2007, at a youth retreat, I heard about God sending His Son, Jesus, to the earth for a people He dearly loved to redeem and save them. I knew I was lost, but I never thought I could be loved by God. I'd always just missed that part of the gospel. They announced at the end of the message that if you wanted to respond to the gospel, you could come to the front. I didn't walk, I ran to the front. My entire life changed as the truth of the gospel pierced my heart. The power of suicidal thoughts shattered. I came away from that weekend with faith in Christ's work building in my heart, a deep conviction to be in His words, sorrow over the sin in my life, and a desire to live in a way that was pleasing to God. God began the long work of freeing me from the addictions and patterns of lust that had a strong hold on my life. That night, I surrendered my life to God, but there were some things in my life that I couldn't get free from. I struggled with the shame of sexual confusion and fear of physical affection of men. I continued to battle depression, and I was haunted by violent sexual dreams. I was walking with God passionately, but I was doing so with a significant limp. In college, I began to cry out to God for healing and freedom. It was during that time I was sitting in a class and they were talking about how necessary it is to heal from past hurts and trauma. Something about what they said began to evoke a physical response from me. I began to be thrown into a panic attack that left me tearfully and breathlessly immobilized on my dorm room. I asked God, why is this happening to me? And I clearly heard his voice at that moment say to me, Justina, there's something in your heart that I want to take out, but it's going to be really painful. And I responded in that moment, do it. The memories of the abuse all began to bubble to the forefront of my mind. The reality of what happened to me could no longer be ignored, and I began to realize the effects that it had on my life. The timing of God is perfect, and He knew the exact timing and ways that these things needed to be dealt with in my life. On my campus, they had just started a group called Pure Heart. This is a Bible-based program to help people heal from child sexual abuse. I was invited to join, and I said yes in that moment to set on a healing journey with God. Opening my heart to God and others concerning the abuse was painful and difficult. Even though I'd been a Christian for many years, there was so much more freedom in God to experience. I began to walk without the limp of depression in my life. I began to walk without nightmares. I began to walk in the truth God had for me about my identity. I look at the work God has done in my life and I am overwhelmed by His faithfulness to restore all things. He not only saved me, but He healed me and He called me to His purposes. The abuse when I was three no longer rules my life with the effects that it had had. It now shouts of a God who can completely redeem and heal all things. He loved me, He saved me, He restored me. If He can do it for me, He can do it for you too. Thank you.